In today's video, I'm gonna talk about tying a perfectly dimpled knot. So whenever it comes to tying ties, the hallmark of a really well-tied tie is that perfect symmetrical dimple. It's that final touch that really tells everyone you know what you're doing. Now we all know it's easier said than done. We've all chased around that elusive, perfect dimple in the morning, and sometimes it can be very difficult. Now one of the things that's really important to tying a perfect dimple is what it is you're starting with. And whenever it comes to ties, that means having a really high quality lining that gives the tie body and ensures that that dimple is able to form. Now on all of our Kirby Allison Sovereign Grade ties, I spend a lot of time actually working on developing our own tie lining that's unique to us that really ensures that all of our ties are able to dimple beautifully. And we've all known that some ties are just impossible to get a good dimple on, whereas other ties seem to tie themselves. Here at Kirby Allison, I like to think that our sovereign grade ties all but tie themselves, ensuring that you can easily produce that dimple every time. Now let's talk about the dimple. Uh, so here's one of our sovereign grade ties. This is a beautiful kind of navy jack card. And again, you can see the nice dimple here that's in that tie. It's not a double dimple, it's a single dimple uh, that really kind of produces a beautiful body. Now, how is that dimple created? First, one of the important tricks is to ensure that once you bring your large blade back over and through the front of the tie, that there is no creasing or wrinkling. It's essential that this blade is completely uh, flat and straight. Uh, it's not curving kind of back under itself. And then I'm about to show you uh, the real trick here. So here I've got my double-breasted jacket. We'll pull this out. So you want to take that short blade. Before you pull this tight, you want to pull this down. I'm pulling it down quite kind of tightly. Then you're going to take just your index finger and your thumb, and you're going to pinch uh, your large blade just with two fingers. You're not holding it. You're not using all your fingers. You're pinching. And then you've got this straight. It's not dimpling. So you're going to pull this long, the small blade down. You're going to take your index finger and you're going to position it kind of towards the middle and then you're going to pull that down. Now as that tightens, again, you're pulling right there in the middle and it's going to help that small dimple form. So there we are. Don't be afraid to have to play around with your tie a little bit, you know. Uh, and then one of the other things I like to do is to take, you know, my two, my index and middle finger and then kind of tighten this knot, pull it down a little bit. I'll take this, I'll tighten the knot, play around with it. And there we go, um, perfect dimple. So it takes a little bit of practice. Those are some nice tricks though, uh, that'll certainly make it easier. Having a good high quality tie, like one of our sovereign grade ties, of course, makes it all the easier. One of the other things I'd say is if you're really having a difficult time getting a dimple, the other thing that could be happening is that your tie is too short and actually you're trying to tie that knot uh, too far up the tie where the blade is quite narrow. So uh, all ties kind of have shape to it. And in order to get a nice dimple, you need to be tying it on a sufficiently wide part of the tie. Uh, if your tie is too short, and in order to get the proper length, you're kind of tying that knot on really the part of the tie that's meant to go around the neck, uh, it's really very difficult to get a good dimple. Uh, and that can be easily fixed by purchasing a longer tie. And that's why here at Kirby Allison, we have two lengths to all of our permanent collection ties. A standard 150 centimeter tie, which is what I'm wearing today, and then a long 160 centimeter tie for those taller gentlemen or those gentlemen that prefer larger knots like a half or full Windsor that need a little bit more length of their tie to get those perfect dimples. Certainly a beautiful tie dimple can be elusive, but with a proper sovereign grade tie and these little tricks, I'm certain that you can get it. If you have any questions about anything I discussed in this video, please ask them in the comments section below. Otherwise, please go check out our entire collection of sovereign grade ties at KirbyAllison.com. I'm Kirby Allison, and thanks for watching.